is the evidence is from fossils and what are fossils fossils or the proofs which organisms are left behind and once upon a time the organisms are living on the surface of earth and now they are not surviving and now they are not even one number also but they have left some evidences that proves so based on that proofs only we can easily estimate that organisms are how once upon a time they have lived just for example the dinosaurs the dinosaurs once upon a time they were survived in the jurassic era and now even one species also we cannot find anywhere but how can we say that the dinosaurs were lived once upon a time because they have left some evidences like a skeleton the skeletons of the dinosaurs is giving an idea about the dinosaurs once upon a time they have lived on surface of earth right here it is uh, what are the evidences and usually in pre previously we discussed that the homologous organs means organs which having the similar in structure and uh, different in function how can we say that all organisms are uh, uh, similar in structure and all, organ all organisms are uh, simply having the common ancestor we have a proof that's nothing but uh, embryological evidences embryological evidence what is embryological evidence embryology means observing of an organism from the egg to the adult what the changes happening from the zygote to the adult all these changes we are observing that observation is called embryology right and when we observe the the human beings and the cheetah and bat and whale and pig and salamander and like that if you take the few embryos if you take few embryos you can you cannot identify that which embryo belongs to which species why because at the embryological stage all the embryos are very much similar they have a very close similarities they have majority of similarities they are having so that we cannot differentiate the organism this is a, a pig embryo this is salamander embryo this is a bat embryo this is human embryo we cannot separate we cannot distinguish the species why because at the embryological stages all the species are very much similar to each other right that's what embryological evidences so depends on the embryological evidences we can say all these organisms once upon a time they are originated from the common ancestor right here it is uh, the fossils coming to the point of the fossils fossils are the evidences left by an organism once upon a time they surface they lived on the surface of earth and now they are not completely they were not completely uh, present on earth they were completely vanished right and uh, not only the bones uh, and, and also we can say some evidences traces and footprints few examples of these are, are the fossils <coughs> depends on the evidences what we are getting we can easily estimate that the organisms once upon a time they have lived and now we cannot identify they were completely extinct right here how uh, generally we are saying that uh, oh, the particular fossils the age uh, when when uh, particularly the archaeological department people when they identify any kind of uh, uh, fossils uh, usually they are saying that this kind of organisms lived once upon a time like uh, the age of this fossil is 1 million years ago or 50000 years ago then how they can estimate the age of uh, the particular fossil there is a specifically uh, evidences or there there is a proof is there to estimate not exactly approximately they can estimate at the age of the fossils and what was the process they are using to estimate the age of fossils nothing but carbon dating nothing but carbon dating in the sense of whatever the fossils they are getting that fossils uh, are having some kinds of uh, minerals like a uh, carbon or uranium or phosphor phosphate like some iso or some uranium substance or there those are the generally called as isotopes those are generally called isotopes 
these isotopes are having a specific lifespan right according to the lifespan of those isotopes they can estimate the uh, what the fossils they are getting right so this is the uh, reason and the archaeological department people how they are estimated the age of the fossils and here the fossil study of fossils is called paleontology paleontology is the study of fossils study of fossils paleontology right <laughs>